going. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Folk and Acoustic Music. This is the live studio edition, which I bring to you when I have live guests in the studio. I do a radio show called Folk and Acoustic Music on WLRN in Miami. And today's guest is Mark Dubin and Tom Stankus. Uh, first time you're here? Yeah, first time in the studio, for sure. And yeah, Tom? Excited. First time for okay. me as well. Uh, Long time just, listener, though. It's, it's, these guys have been around South Florida for quite a while in the music scene, so it's nice finally getting finally, in yeah. here. Yeah. I always love it. I always, yeah. I always love. Uh, I mean, you've been a you, you've been a true legend in in, in town. Oh, uh, go on. A hundred. A hundred percent. I mean, I, it's it's. I've listened to you uh, yeah. forever. Yeah. You know, and uh, even back in our in our old punk days, you know, always always like the the, the, the awesome folk and acoustic stuff. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's even a little bit of a bridge and a highway into me doing what I do now. You know, you turning me on to to lots of different music that I probably wouldn't have heard. Oh, great! Otherwise, I appreciate yeah. that. No, I appreciate that. Well, that's what happens after you do forty years on the radio. It's just wow. like it's nuts, isn't it? That's it's, amazing. It's like crazy. It just kind of snuck up on me. I just. <laughs> All right, let me get ready for the gig here. Get ready for the shoot here. All right. Handsome devil. Yeah, I had no idea. This I, know, was I had no this. idea you were so handsome. I think this is probably the first time I've had one of these in the studio. Yes. Yeah. Steel guitar. Steel guitar. These, this is one or two steel guitars? This is one steel guitar with two necks. Okay. Do they, yes. You could have as many necks as you want. You can, and some do, but I don't think I could keep track of that many. <laughs> Not to be confused with a lap steel. Right. Because a lot of people will say that. I, I know I've even is, missed it terribly like, sometimes. Uh, six strings, generally, you play it on your... And then also... Uh, it's not a pedal steel. Which so does this have eight strings or 16 strings? It has eight strings on each neck. <laughs> so technically 16. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got 30 seconds to go. And when am I playing? I don't even know. We're going to start track. the first okay. tune. Whenever. Yeah. Hey, I lost track of what I'm doing here. Okay. Me too. 20 seconds. It was so much fun. Today is 2-25-24. I didn't tell anybody yet. February 25th, 2024. That's when we're taping this. And I'm going on the air right now. Here, hold on. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Folk and Acoustic Music. My name is Michael Stock, here every Sunday afternoon on Public Radio WLRN. Opening up the, opening up the show, we heard from Hedge Lean and Newt Hem, a German uh, duo. Their latest CD is called Villainsburg, and the song we listened to was called Sildenbecken. And uh, excuse my German there, and uh, I'll be playing some new music today, some old music. I do have interviews. Joni Leeds is going to be in South Florida next Sunday for the uh, Little Kids Jam on, on Jungle Island. And I have an interview with Joni coming up uh, later on this afternoon about her new album called Freedom. But right now in the studio, we have Mark Dubin and Tom Stankus. And Tom and uh, Mark are regulars over at Tarpon River Brewing. Uh, and welcome to the studio. Thank hey, you so much. thank you so much for having us. Good. And so w w what's <clears throat> happening at Tarpon River Brewing? So uh, I'm the general manager over there at the at the at the brewery, and what we decide we have live music every Friday and Saturday, and so what I decided to do something special was to get some of my friends once a month, the first Monday of each month, and have like a songwriter in the round, sort of a storytellers. So uh, get people that don't normally do solo acoustic shows, and uh, and and give us a night. So it's almost like an industry night, a uh, music industry night where the songwriters can get together and away from the pomp and circumstance of regular shows where you have to, you know, be like in your performance sort of ego kind of uh, well, what, what kind thing. of shows? What kind of shows do you have at uh, Tarpon River Brewery? Well, other than, other than the brewery, you know, most of us are playing around town. Most of us go out on tour, you know, different things like that. And I think that when you're in, in that sort of realm where you're playing for an audience, you, there's a different vibe, right? And, and you, know, you it's kind of more of a professional kind of thing well, as an artist. A folk show. Yeah, yeah. But when we have the, 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 the songwriter, when we have the storytellers, it's more for us. It's more for the performers. We get together. We can actually hang out with each other, talk about the stuff, talk about, you know, kind of uh, share battle scars and battle stories. And then we share them on, on the stage. You know, we talk about our craft. We talk about the song, maybe some of the inspirations for the songs. And, uh, 
uh, give little antidotes and play. And it's been awesome. It's been happening for about the past six six months. You do that the first Monday of every the month? The first Monday of every month. The next one is March 4th. March 4th at Tarpon River Brewery. Yeah. yeah. 280 Southwest 6th Street in Fort Lauderdale. Where is that? Is that downtown? I'm downtown right. Fort Lauderdale. It's like right off of, uh, almost like Andrews and Las Olas. Yeah. Well, and, you, and obviously they brew your own. Your own yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing brewery. We have the best beer. and uh, <laughs> The best beer around. I love it. Shout out to Adam Fine. And, That's Tarpon and, River Beer? What, what kind of yeah, it's Tarpon River. It's it's Tarpon River uh, beer. We we sell our stuff. Uh, you can get it in package stores, but we also uh, sell our beer in other uh, bars and, I, and locations. When you first told me this, I thought it was in Tarpon Springs, uh, further north. Oh, geez, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, no, super local. Yeah, we brew. We, we I think we have like 16, 17 beers on tap always, and they're always kind of going. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. <laughs> I'm more interested in the, the music. Yeah, for sure. Do you have music there as well? Every Friday and Saturday. Okay. And then the first Sunday of each month, we do a jazz brunch, which is super cool. That's a very traditional jazz, you know, like going to old school, Charlie Parker, Charlie Mingus, you know, Miles Davis type of stuff. And you're the general manager? Yeah. What, so you, you have a couple of hats there. Being a little a, bit, yeah. A, do you perform other than the first Monday of every month? You know, I didn't really want it to be, you know, a vehicle for myself. You know, I play around town a lot. So this is like Monday nights, you know, that first Monday is sort of just my special night where I can take off the, the hat of, of, of running the place and just, you know, relax and, and play some tunes and, and give space to the other musicians that need it the rest of the month. You're here with Tom Stankus, and I'll tell you what, I'll find out more about Tom in a minute, but what did you want to, what song did, oh, and I, are you going to play guitar the first song I here, am. Tom? I am. Okay, so what song would you like to start off with? I think we're going to do uh, Caroline, uh, a song called Caroline. And this is yeah. your song? The, yeah, the, the, the songs we're going to play are all, all written by me, yeah. And, so uh, this was next Monday night, what would you say about Caroline? Uh, Caroline was a song that I wrote uh, for my daughter, she, she's a little older now, she's 24, but it was one of the, uh, a song that I wrote about her heading up to uh, New York and sort of expanding her horizons and, and, an uh, and growing some wings as an adult, yeah. Uh -huh. Which is, it was a little difficult for a, for, a, for a dad to deal with sometimes, right, so far away for the first time, but, uh, but it all worked out and it was, it's amazing. Okay, here's Mark Dugan. All right. Thank you. you ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Happy ones always seem to end so soon. In her sad brown eyes, between the makeup and the lies, bedroom sheets giving a comfort for goodbye. Every day she wakes up with the dawn. Every
kiss just a kiss Live in the WLON studio. So what did your daughter say when you sang that to her? Well, you know, I, her name's Kaylin, so I had to change the name because Kaylin didn't really rhyme so well. No. <laughs> so I picked Caroline. And uh, so for a while, yeah, she knew it was her. Yeah. She knew it was her. Um, yeah, it's a little teary-eyed. You yeah, know. Really? yeah, a little so teary-eyed. So sweet, so sweet. But, you, you know, I can't imagine that in a punk way, how you started off mm. in, in music. Have you? Yeah. Has, does she? What kind of music does she like? All different kinds, all different kinds. You know, I think I think the kids today are exposed to so many different kinds. You know, I mean, when I was growing up, you were really in your niche. You know, um, so she listens to all different kinds. I actually like some of the music. I have I have uh, identical twin sixteen year old daughters too, Willow and Sky. They're they're super cool. And yeah, they 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 all have a really big. You know, I think K pop is something that they're really into right now. <laughs> the K but you 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 started off in the punk scene. I started yeah, I started off very, very, very angry. Yeah, I was, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I played uh I played in some punk bands uh for a very long time, for, for maybe fifteen, twenty years. And then right in the two thousands I started slowing the music down that I was writing and sort of had all these bedroom songs. And uh one day I, I, I was playing uh, some new new punk songs for a friend and they were like, yeah, it sounds good, but it sounds like everything you've ever written. So I busted out a couple uh, a couple acoustic songs and they were like, wow, that was uh, super cool. That's so cool. So you weren't angry anymore. <laughs> well, instead of being angry at everybody else, I was angry at myself, right? So I think, I think when you listen sometimes, when I listen to a lot of the country music and folk music uh, and acoustic. There's a lot of introspection that you don't get in punk, right? Punk is like, it's all about everybody else kind of doing us wrong. And when I listen to that introspective music, it's like, what did I do wrong kind of thing? So it's cool, it's cool. Mark Dubin is here. Mark is uh, plays the first Monday of every month, uh, the songwriting series at Tarpon River Brewing in Fort Lauderdale. And we're here with Tom Stankis. And Tom, you're, you played guitar that first song, but I see... Uh... What is that called again? A steel guitar. A steel guitar in front of you. And it's more than, it, 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 it looks like two guitar necks. It's correct. It is two necks. And that's all. It was. When did you start playing that? Wow. That was... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, oh, let, let me just hear sure. a little bit of it so we, we know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, you get a little like the Hawaiians. I love that. It's great. It's got a little Hawaiian sound, you know, earlier with old cowboy music. If you listen to the steel guitar back then and a lot of those records, it's like a uh, hillbilly hula. It's really very Hawaiian sounding, and when I, when you think I always slide, love that. When you think of slide, you think of the blues. Do, do you play? I do, and yes, that's on there too. It's, you know, that kind of sound. Is, you know, that's available. So when did you pick that up? How long have you been playing that? Um, wow, I don't know. It would have been maybe in the 90s, somewhere around then, uh, with you another the friend. Music. Yes, it was another friend, Mr. Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> okay. I got a steel <laughs> guitar, yeah. and uh, I was in his band, like, as soon as I got a guitar. So I sort of broke my teeth with him. Okay, very cool. And then with Mark, I've played with the longest. Uh, uh, Tarpon River Brewery. Do you live near there? I mean, is, is it a matter of convenience for you? Is that why you play there? No, it's just a great place, Mark. Uh, we've played there before. Mark worked. Yeah, I met there. the I met the guys. I met I met Adam, uh, who who is the owner. He runs the he's the owner of the brewery, and and uh, I met him through the music, through playing music, and through there. <clears throat> and it just so happened that this time around, we were able to connect on a professional level. But um, it's just a great room. It's a great vibe. It's it's a music room. You know, and it's and it's really cool because you're you're not subjugated again to a lot of the pomp and circumstance of a nightclub. Mm -hmm. That this is a casual event. It's an earlier sort of event. You know, we we start playing I think at like seven seven thirty. And this is an an open mic per se. It's your guests who come and it's play. It's not an open mic. Yeah, it's yeah. invited guests that I get. You know, friends of mine or people that I'm interested in knowing, and I'll invite them. It's two guests plus me. 
So we each do, you know, a 30, 40 minute set. And then uh, sometimes we hang out at the end and, uh, and do a little jam session and play some cover songs or listen to each other. But it, it's really great. I mean, I, I love it because I get to actually hang out and talk to, uh, talk to the performers and, and really get to kind of connect in that, in that vibe. So yeah. I'm looking at the calendar. The next one is March 4th. Yeah. Monday night, March 4th. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, let's have another song. What do you want to do? Cool. Are we going to hear the uh, the uh, yes. steel guitar? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I think we'll do pigeon. Okay. Oh, Pigeon's yeah. always like one of those like little. Uh, f for me, uh, uh, is this your song, Mark? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 This is uh, this is a song about uh, you know, I always think pigeons always get a bad rap, you know, because they're birds. Well, they're called the, the rats of the right. sky. Right. It's terrible. They're like birds, and they and they sing songs, but nobody likes them. They're the ugliest <laughs> of the birds, uh, okay. and nobody likes their songs. Right. They're always like, you know, like they're they're, they're what are they, what are they gobble? They coo. Oh, they coo. Yeah. They coo, and everybody's just like, shut up. So I feel an affinity <laughs> for the pigeon. I feel I feel like we're we're connected on some level. Okay. Uh, so this is a song called Pigeon. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four. WLRN Studio with Tom, with Tom Stankus on the steel guitar. Tom, I get confused with the steel guitar, the dobro, the lap steel. There's, what, what, and that's a steel guitar. This is a steel guitar. Generally, lap steel will be a six-string instrument that you play on your lap. The steel guitar here can have eight, ten strings. Actually, there's a bunch of different configurations. Is, is that something you taught yourself, or did you take lessons? It's true. No, I just taught myself. It sounds great. It just yeah. makes the full sound. It makes wow, like a thank full you. Sound. I appreciate that. I really and, do. 
what what is your history? Have you been in a lot of bands in South Florida? Uh, no, I started in Gainesville. I went to school in Gainesville, and my first band up there was uh, the Root Doctors, kind of a blues, <laughs> uh, sort of a blues revival band, which was my very first time, and I loved it. And I've always been uh, attracted to Americana, blues, country, traditional type music, bluegrass, all of that. Love all of that, all day, every day. And you, you don't do music full time now? No, I no, no. But I love it and just do it because I love it. And uh, Mark Dubin is here. Obviously, you don't do music full time either. Was, uh, and you, what, what bands have you been in? So when we, the, the punk days in the 90s was uh, the Johnsons and the Hang Ups, and that was very uh, loud and fast and sort of like Tom Petty on 45, you know, <laughs> very Southern, very drunk, very, very loud and, and stuff like that. But uh, once the 2000s came around, it started changing the vibe and uh, we had Los Diablos, which was a, a bigger alt country Americana band that I had with George Hernandez and Will Trev and uh, Chino and Tom. Um, that we all, we all kind of hooked up and then, uh, that sort of went away. And then, uh, most recently, uh, was the Honest Liars and we're still together. In fact, we're playing a 60 year anniversary party at Tarpon River on, uh, on March 23rd. But, um, we still get together once or twice a year to, to, to do some shows. And that's got George and Andre Serafini and Dan Bonebreak, uh, when, in the band. When did you have to get a, when did you start working? A regular job. I've always been in the restaurant and bar business. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as a teenager, obviously working in record stores, that was like that was that's the only way you could <laughs> listen to new music. Yeah. Uh, so I, I did that for a while, but yeah, I think it was probably probably about fifteen years ago when I really did that whole soft retiring from like trying to make a living at music and saying, okay, now we're gonna we're we're gonna settle in and become like a normal person and 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 try to like you know integrate into society as best as we can. Was it difficult to find that balance? Because it seems like you have it now. Yeah. Well, at first it was. I mean, at first it was because you know I uh, the, my twins, but you know again sixteen. Um, they had they had just uh, were born, and so yeah. I mean, it's a little it's a it's a different adjustment, but you know you you make the mistakes, you pick yourself back up over and over again until suddenly you realize that you've ran out of. Uh, you can't make any bad decisions anymore. I've made like every bad decision possible. So now I find myself just realizing that there's no other ones to make but good ones now. You know, you survive long enough. You know? do, do your daughters, are they into music? I mean, do they play music? They're very into the entertainment field. I don't think they've quite found where they want to be right now. You know, the whole big thing is like the influencer, the TikTok, the YouTube, stuff like that. So <laughs> they do that, which is great. It's awesome. I mean, I support it all. Yeah. Um, uh, Kaylin, my oldest one, she works over at the Performing Arts Center, Broad Performing Arts. Oh, so yeah, so they're all sort of in it, you know, but they're not quite sure where they want to be in it. So they don't, they're not a singer-songwriter like you? No, not, not, not in that sense, but they definitely, I mean, I listen to them sing. They don't want to sing in front of me, but when they do, it's good. Oh, when I hear it, it's good, yeah. All three of them are good. Uh, Mark Dubin is here with Tom Stankus. And who's going to perform on March 3rd? Who else is going to be entertained? So we have Matthew uh, Matthew Taylor Edgington, who's super cool. If, uh, you guys might know him from uh, Two Story Double Wide. They were a band back when we were Los Diablos that we used to play a lot with. And he's he's a singer-songwriter from that band. Um, he's really great. I haven't gotten yet to perform with him on a solo basis, so I'm really excited. And then this really cool cat, Brett Stoska uh, from Miami. He's kind of like a... A, the space cowboy, you know, he's he's sort of a surfer cowboy, uh, really, really, you know, really, really kind of a throwback to the old school, but also a very cool South Florida vibe. So I'm excited. I'm really excited for the show. And Tom will be there. Tom's going to be there. Yeah. Tom's yes. always, me and Tom have always. I'm lucky because I get to play along. I get to hear great songwriters. It's great camaraderie. Like he's saying, get together with everybody. That, and, you know, we get to uh, hear all the great songwriters from the local area. Uh, the cool. Storyteller Night is the first uh, Monday of the month yeah. uh, over at Tarpon River Brewery. And that's at 280 Southwest 6th Street in Fort Lauderdale. And Mark uh, Dubin is the host there. And March 3rd is the next show. Let's finish up with a song. What would you like to I think we'll do uh, one from Los Diablos. This is another one of mine, uh, Bittersweet. So Los Diablos, they're not punk, but they're like a uh, well, they're rock, rock band. It was well, it was it was a bunch of it was a bunch of punk musicians 
deciding that we wanted to try our hand at playing country. <laughs> so, you know, we... we and you're, still, you're still playing with the guy. No, not... Well, t Tom was, was, was our steel and guitar player. George Hernandez, who plays guitar in The Honest Liars, he, uh, he was also my partner in crime in, in, in Los Diablos. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we didn't know what to do. Like, even back then, all we knew was the punk scene. So as a country band, uh, all we knew were punk bars and punk clubs and punk bands. So we would book ourselves at all the dive bars and the punk shows and everything. <laughs> like, and they would be coming in and we would be freaking out sometimes backstage. We'd be like, okay, dude, should we speed up? Should we sans the steel guitar? Like what? No, we're just going to go out there and play our stuff. And we would play our version of country music to the hardest crowds and people dug it. As long as you're sincere and you're genuine, usually people in that scene okay. are pretty receptive. Yeah, they wear the cowboy hats. We did. A hundred percent we wore the cowboy hats. Remember that? He's the best dressed. He's always got, Tom's always got awesome stuff, man. Uh, but this song, yeah, this song was a Los Diablos song um, off, uh, off one of our EPs. And um, one of the most popular, it got the most, it got the most recognition. It was actually in a movie and, uh, and, a, and a DVD that burned into my head. No kidding. What movie? It was a, an English movie that won an awards in, in Cannes. It was a terror. It was it was a, it was a nightmare for being a songwriter and a band because we just made all the wrong moves that you could possibly do to take advantage of. Oh them. yeah, yeah. We we just we just totally threw that. I mean, we wound up making no money out of it and nothing. <laughs> and yeah, it's the same old story, right? But at the time, it was like great to have a conversation. We're in this movie and we're on the soundtrack. We're gonna yeah. go. And little did I know that I had just signed every right away. <laughs> so that was awesome. So it was, it was cool for a moment. No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry too. My God. <laughs> uh, are you ready? It's right. so a song called Bittersweet. It's about regret, of course. That's all good country songs are. One, two. When I'm broke, I go get stoned in that way on I'm most dangerous I'm a prostitute Selling off my high regard And I'll never speak the truth I find it too damn hard Well, I got my offenses You call them brilliant lies And I said up my Wait. 
about town But now I'm just a bitter man I'm a bitter man I am a bitter man I'm a bitter man Somebody take me Stankus on the steel guitar. Oh, well, that's a great song, but it's kind of sad. Are you, you're not bitter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's always a good enough, right? You got to be a little sad to enjoy the happiness, the light versus the dark, right? The yin yang. Yeah. You yeah. know, in order to truly enjoy joy and happiness, you have to embrace the sadness. Yeah. So, it, it sounds like a Los Diablos. Is that the name of the band? Yeah. Los Diablos. Sounds like a Los Diablos, a country blues song. Right, right, right. right. Exposing your yes. sins to the world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Mark and Tom will be at the Tarpon River Brewing uh, uh, the first Monday of the month, March 3rd, at 280 Southwest 6th Street for their continuing series, The, Sto the Storyteller. Uh, is that what it's called? The Storyteller? Sto yeah, The Storytellers. The yeah, story it's episode tellers. 5 this time around. Excellent. And uh, that's Monday, March 3rd. Mark and Tom, thank you so much for coming. Uh, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us, us, man. This has been real. awesome. Thank you so much. Here's a duo that's coming to town next week. Here are the Kennedys. Outstanding! That was great! Oh Thank, Thank you so you. much! Thank you so much! Alright, let fun. me let me clean up here. No, that was great. That lost the I like that song, but yeah. Wow. A little bluesy there. Yeah. Alright. Oh, this is good. Wow, the Kennedys are coming? Yeah, they're gonna be at the uh Temple Beth Temple what's it called? It's in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, that uh Jacob, J Jeff Jacobs place. It sounds good. Yeah. It's kind of swinging. Yeah, they're gonna be here too next Monday too. Oh they're coming in here uh, too, Keith, so you know. Alright, this is uh Tom and uh, Mark and Tom. Yeah, this was a I wanted to smoke something more rocky at this. Yeah, well, no complaints, no complaints. Yeah, it looks good. Say goodbye. Oh yeah, let me say goodbye. No that does it for this afternoon, and uh, thank you, Keith, Mark, and Tom. Really thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It was great. It was so much fun. And I'll see you. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Awesome.